No, I always get what I want. Okay. Tell me what you want. <laughs> you naughty boy. Oh, it's making my eyes water just thinking about it. <laughs> I've got to go. Were you listening in on me, you perv? You're here to clean dirty cubicles, not make dirty phone calls to your boyfriends. Are you jealous? Do you fancy me? Is that what it is? Oh, adorable. No. <laughs> you into someone else? No. Of course. The girl from finance, right? <laughs> well, you do spend twice as long cleaning her cubicles than anyone else's. Must be something special about her. I have no idea what you're on about. You don't get paid to talk. Prick. We should get back to work. Go talk to her. Why? You like her, right? I think I'm in love with her. I would kill to go out with her. And I'm talking bloody murder, mass genocide, a knife through the heart. Well, her team's been working late all month. She'll still be here. Go talk to her. Ask her out. Make a gesture. Something romantic. All you have to do is tap a few buttons and send a few emails. A fucking monkey could do it. I don't care how long you've been with the company. It doesn't mean you can't be replaced in a second with someone twice as good for half the price. Yes. Understood? Sorry, I'll, um, I'll come back later. After all I've done for him, for this company, he's going to fire me. God, I really, 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 really fucking hate him. Did you talk to her? She cried. Oh. Look, I I've just got to clean the boss's office, then I am done. There's this alternative bar I know, and emo chicks love creepy guys like you. I could hook you up. I'd rather be alone. Y you go, I'll finish up here. Okay. Don't work too hard. I'm busy. Oh, sorry, I'll come back later. And don't think about vacuuming outside my door either. It's irritating as fuck. Some of us have an important job to do. Now, shoo. You heard about Prick Boss? He didn't show up for work today. Hasn't been home either. Did you see him yesterday when you were cleaning up his office? Weird. The security guard didn't see him leave either. Okay, we'll see you soon. Hello. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'd had a rough day and all the stuff with the boss, I just... At least now he's dead, he won't be able to fire you. How do you know he's... He stopped breathing and wasn't moving anymore. You saw him? I asked him to leave you alone. I need you to leave Alice alone. Who? Huh? Alice, I'm not deaf, I just haven't got a clue who you're talking about. Now, I'm up to my balls here, so you could politely just fuck off. Leave Alice alone! I have no idea who you're talking about. Alice Finch. She has a black Labrador called Lucky. Her birthday is on the 4th of May. Her mother's on the 25th. Her favourite flowers are carnations. Her favourite biscuits are custard creams. She wears coral reef red lipstick and rose quartz perfume by Alicia Dixon. He didn't listen. He laughed in my face. <laughs> and he had a hot cup of coffee on his desk without a coaster. I ate that. What did you do? Smashed him around the head with his world's best boss mug. <laughs> you killed him. Essentially. 
I think the corner of the filing cabinet that he banged his head on when he fell had a lot to be accountable for. But you killed him. For you? For me? You don't even know me. You have a black Labrador called Lucky. Your birthday's on the 4th of May. Your mother's on the 25th. Your favourite flowers are carnations. Your favourite biscuits are custard creams. You wear coral reef red lipstick and... Rose Quartz Perfume by Alicia Dixon. Well, you killed him for me. That's the most romantic thing anyone's ever done for me. What about the police? Don't worry, I'm a cleaner. A 50-50 dilution of hydrogen peroxide and water will remove any fresh blood stain. It's like crimson magic. Oh, that's the most poetic thing I've ever heard. Would you like to go out sometime? This is nice. Have you been here before? <laughs> I can't believe you committed cold-blooded murder for me and I don't even know your name. It's Finn. Like on a fish. <laughs> if anyone ever upsets you again, I wouldn't hesitate in doing the same. Steak rare? And this must be feet. Mm, I asked for no olives. The waitress must have got my order wrong. She what? You specifically asked for no olives. I heard you. But what was she thinking? What if you had a serious allergy? I mean, she could have killed you. No, it's okay. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Coca-Cola is a great alternative for removing unwanted stains. The salt is also a great abrasive. I'll be right back. I'm just parked. Hey! That's my car! What are you doing? There's still five minutes on the ticket. Not by my watch. I'll give you ten seconds to remove that ticket from the windscreen, roll it up into a little ball, and throw it in the bin. I'm afraid the ticket's already been administered, sir. You have six seconds left. Fine. Get in the car and lock the doors. By the way, your car is filthy. I can come around tomorrow and give it a thorough clean, if you'd like. Yes, I'd like that. So, how's it going with you and Alice? I love her. I'd do anything for her. If anyone harmed a single hair in her head, I would kill them. If anyone even thought about upsetting her in any way, I wouldn't hesitate in slitting their throats for daring to even think about causing her harm. Pretty well, then. Here you are. Oh, brilliant. I'll see you later. Thank you. See you soon. Okay. Was he bothering you? No. Look, I saw him touch you. Did he hurt you? gone too far now. All right, murdering my boss was a lovely gesture. It really was. Killing the waitress was really sweet of you. And pummeling the traffic warden to death was very cute. But seriously, this is getting out of hand. Look around. You can't just go killing everyone for me. First there was Fat Sean. You beat to death with a printer for spilling coffee down my blazer. <laughs> he could have seriously scolded you. Then there was poor Denise. You killed with the shredder because I tripped over the bag she left by her desk? You could have broken your neck. This has got to stop. You're obsessed. I'm sorry that I'm obsessed with loving you and wanting to protect you. I think we should just... Just... Are you breaking up with me? After all I've done for you. All I've sacrificed for you. All the people that I've sacrificed for you. I'm sorry, it's over. By the way, when I left yours this morning, I saw Lucky chewing on the cable to the TV. Have you any idea the number of people that die a year in electrical fires? Lucky? What have you done to her? I was protecting you. What if you'd been asleep? You could have burnt to death. She won't be doing it again.
You okay? Me and Alice were over. What happened? I killed her dog. Wow. It's okay. I'm gonna get her back. I just need to think of a bigger, more romantic gesture. That's all.